So we just got a brand new trailer for War for the Planet of the Apes. This is the second trailer they released. And all I can say about this trailer is holy shit. This was an incredible trailer. Everything they set up, everything they're showing for this movie, this is going to be the end of the humans. It's going to be the War of the Planet of the Apes. It's going to be incredible and intense. I love where this series has become and where it started from because you see the journey from the first movie all the way to dawn and in this one, this is when the war is going to happen. This is the last stand of humans and for apes. This is going to be an intense, gritty story. I love how this trailer started off showing us where Caesar started off. We hear the voice clips from the first movie where he's starting to become this intelligent ape. Didn't hear Franco. Didn't hear Franco. Heard everyone else. I love that. I like that. And this has really become Caesar's story. We're going to learn so much about Caesar, and I'm glad we have this character we can focus on like this, who's, be going, who's going to become this like godlike figure for all the apes coming forward when they take over the world. All the action in this looks incredible. The CGI looks as good as it did before. I really like that we're seeing a lot of the other apes starting to be more intelligent, like Caesar. There's this one shot of, the, of this older ape who's telling his people how he escaped the capity of the humans because humans made us, we became smarter, so I escaped. I love that. That's an interesting character. He looks so old and befuddled, like there's something up with him. It's incredible. Maurice is back and he's taking care of this kid. It's got so much stuff is going on in this. Woody Harrelson, I gotta say, Woody Harrelson looks so intense in this role. He's the kind of character I can see taking up the next reigns as the bad guy. He looks like he's going to be gritty and tough and have a sleek side of bone where he's nice. Is this going to be the end of Caesar in this movie? I have a feeling it will be. I think after this movie, we're not going to see any circus come back to this role. I really hope this is the last movie in the franchise. I don't think it needs to go any further. But if it does, maybe we could see his son take over or something. Caesar's got to die in this movie. Well, he doesn't have to, but I feel like he's going to. There's this beautiful shot of these soldiers, and on the back of one of their helmets it says Monkey Killer. I think that's a really nice, just a nice little kind of thing for a character. We're probably not going to get a lot of him. It's a nice way to look at that, though. Oh, man, just how this story makes us focus on the apes is incredible, because apes are the heroes that I think we wanted to see in, in this. It's, it's really beautiful. It's really good seeing Caesar and his family, and it looks like he's having another kid, or that could have been his son. So much going on. It's just incredible. It's so intense. I love everything we see. And we get this beautiful, kind of. I'm going to say this is kind of like a side story of this gorilla who's, I think that that girl is the daughter of Woody Harrelson's character. He seems like he's kind of a servant gorilla. He cares for this girl and he's talking to Caesar like, you can pretend to be a human all you want, but you're still going to be treated like an ape. You should decide with us in this war that's going to happen. That's a beautiful storyline. I think that's going to be a really interesting part of this movie to see this character, this gorilla who... He's learning who he is still. He's trying to figure stuff out because we haven't really seen a much emotion from the other apes as we have with Koba and Caesar. We've always seen them deciding with you know Caesar and listening to what he says. But this guy is trying to figure out who he is, what he wants to do. It's incredible. It's a beautiful story. Is Koba coming back? I don't know. Let's just talk about this trailer. If Koba comes back, cool. If he doesn't, whatever. Beautiful shot of Caesar attacking this guy and they're hanging off the waterfall. That was so gorgeous so surreal and visceral this atmosphere of this world we built is i cannot wait to see this movie i i cannot wait this is going to be one of the greatest movies of the year i'm so excited for this movie it's above the last jedi for me this is number one on my list of 2017 i i loved the other two movies i love what i'm seeing with this one the story everything we've seen with caesar's rise and who he's become I think this is going to be the movie to watch for this year. It's going to be one of the best action movies, one of the best character-driven studies, and I think it's going to be one of the best Woody Harrelson movies we've seen in a long time. Matt Reeves, you knocked out of the park, dude. You just keep knocking it out of the park with these. Everything in this trailer I fell in love with. Apes on horses with guns. That's all I'm going to say to close this off. I'll see you in the next video, and let me know what you think of this trailer. Good luck.